the boat of millions of years, from the boat oath descended, being equipped with words of power and spells of all kinds, and bearing with him the great command of Malkuru, the word, whose commands were performed, instantly and completely, by every god, spirit, fiend, human being and by everything, animate and inanimate, in heaven, earth, and the other world. When the eyes see, the ears hear, and the nose inspires breath, they convey that to the heart that is. The heart it is which causes every decision to go forth, and the tongue it is which pronounces what the heart has thought. The tongue fashioned all the gods, and the aned, and every divine word also came into being through what the heart conceived, and the tongue commanded. The great god who lives on the island, the golden youth who came forth from the lotus flower, Thoth was born on the Isle of Flame. Child of Sire in the Island of Flame. Conceived in the ocean, born in the flood, a lotus came forth in which was a beautiful child who illumines this land with his rays, cast forth from the lotus but spewed forth from within in it a dwarf maiden whom the shining one made to gaze on. Behold, the god completed his first plan and did not make it known. An ibis was begotten of the thought of his heart Thoth, the great one, who created all things, the tongue and heart that knows everything which is with him re this unique one, the governor of the two lands, who guides the living. The living one his name is called, Thoth, heart of re, who knows all things, first begotten of re, eldest child of re, the great one, the eldest child of Re the most ancient one begotten at the beginning. Thoth, thrice great, lord of Hermopolis, the glorious Ibis presiding over Egypt, sprung from Re, born at the beginning. The great one, sprung from Re creator of all that became subsequently to himself. Creator of himself self-caused, self-begotten, world fashion on his own account. The perfect son being outside himself, so there is no higher reality through which he can be known. The maker of all that is, he is the heart of Re which hath made the Aned as well as himself he is the heart of Atom which hath fashioned all things. Thoth, the chief scribe. Whatever is began through Thoth's command, what comes from my heart, at once takes place for little is the which hath come into being without my words. The word can summon a thing into being, or banish it into nothingness. Creative power of utterance is implied in all passages which I speak of magical and mysterious names of kings and gods. Who knows the great struggle between light and darkness the excellent one excellent in counsel whose heart is not ignorant lord of the good. The first to utter command prince of Maet leader of earth, who determines its course this is the residence of the prince of Malkaru under whose command stand the two lands who sends forth the great ones, and guides the little ones, without whom naught comes into being, the glorious Ibis who came forth from the heart of the god tongue of Tenon when he gives command, throat of him of the hidden name Ammon. Thou art the god sprung from the god Re himself, for whom the gates of the horizon opened on the day of his birth every god came forth at his command and his word passes into being thou art Thoth, heart of Re, who made the Aned after himself which knoweth all that hath happened in heaven, tongue of tongue which knows what is, and commands all that hath come into beginning, self-begotten. First born of Re, the heart of Re, and tongue of Adam. Moon God Lord of Thought. The Great One is He, too, as ape when the horizon. Great is His name as the Ibis, Lord of the Calamus the first to utter command, excellent in counsel, who fitted together this land this earth the highest of the high, the most hidden of the hidden, who came into being when naught existed, who of himself alone has wrought all that is there is no other who is like unto him, who rejoiced the heart of Atom, and providest sacrifices for the gods. Thou art the god that is high on his standard, who came forth from the god himself for whom opened the doors of the eastern horizon of Re by whom he was begotten. Every god came forth at his command and what he spoke was accomplished. Thou art the god who protected Horus by his great eye by the Uranus serpent do thou protect for he is Thoth, the dweller in the boat of millions of years. 
God of wisdom, and orderer of the cosmos. The word has power to call things into being. The secret nature of things, and of the hidden connections which hold things together. Thoth is the wise one who knows the real names of things, the one whose words have power to control mysterious forces, and to ward off invisible perils. Lord of Magic Thoth is the great in magic. Learned in magic great in magic has become, like Heart of Re. The Magician The Great One and the Magician of the Amduat. He who wrote. Lord of Divine Formulae. No evil thing, whether foe of Osiris, or spirit of disease, could withstand the power of his words. He was in this sense truly mighty in his formulae. He is the dreaded of demons and the lord of dread to evildoers. Great in power of charms Thoth protects Osiris. And wards off the enemies of that god by his divinity struggle against lying and injustice. Excellent in speech, soother of the gods, pacifier of gods. Cool of mouth the peaceful one that knows how to repel evil, the sweet of tongue. Who soothes the heart of the gods by his words. Thoth the great son, who brought Thor Ugth from the great one who had been far away. Who soothed the gods with his honeyed tongue. I am the divine lion, in the form of a Bennu bird. Thou who didst take the form of a monkey, and afterwards of a crazy man. He who is in it has the face of a monkey. Put your faces towards him who is in the water, Osiris is on the water. Examine the waters by which thou hast sent. Art thou not loosened? Be thy face the gaping sky. Go to the south, to the north, to the west, to the east. The fields are given to thee entirely. Thou art not repelled there. Do not set thy face against me. Do set thy face against the animals of the land. Do not set thy face against my path. Do set thy face against that of another. Repel through fascination. Snatch off the ear. To thee is given darkness, not given daylight. Thou art the keeper, warlike, tremendous. Safeguard. Son of Atom self-begotten the witness the true witness true witness for the gods, Lord of gladness Lord of old age Lord of wine who drinks abundantly Lord of life Lord of lifetime Lord of purification Lord of heaven Lord of judging Lord of speech Lord of justice Lord of triumph Lord of the gods Lord of laws Lord of eternity Lord of magic. Representative of Atom. The ancient and great one for the Ened. The moon shining in the heavens he who is the moon the silver sun. Thoth prevails as logos. Thoth who made triumphant the voiceless and protected the weak. Prince of the dead has to serve, in all things, as exemplar of those who should follow him to the west. This trial or judgment. Prince of the westerners. The ancient local god of that gnome who wears the peculiar ornament of the two ostrich. Feathers on his head. Advocate of the first of the dead. Sprung from the skull of the enemy I who may be set. Son of their. Stone, sprung from the two stones. I brings the eye to its owner. Who brings the eye that was far away thoth. Who giveth life to men. Who accomplishes truth. Who does what the goddesses love. Universal in his chapel. Who does good, who makes slaughter among the foes of the two lands. Who hath made eternity. He of the balance. Lunar eye, the silver sun. The great one in Hermopolis who longs for an astasi. The twice great, the thrice great, great in fear in every land. Great in strength, great in power, great in triumph thoth the great and venerable protector who equipped the eye for its owner. The beautiful, prudent of heart. The eagle of many colored plumage. To whom is subject life in the duat. Who increased his figure. Who increases his form. The unique one. Clean of hands. Astute in his plans. The messenger. Who distinguishes seasons, months and years. Eloquent judge. Pleased with my et. Path opener. The Great One. Great Amduat.
great one who came forth from the Nile, mighty in his words. Orderer of fate. Sound of heart. Sound of hand. Judge of ma e et. Impartial judge. Whose abomination is falsehood. The mighty ape. Sweet of tongue. Thoth the ibis. The silent one. Sprung from the forehead. Who has come forth from re. The one with the nose like a bird. That comes forth from the heart of the living. Lion with dreadful growl. Mighty in strength. Whose stylus protected. Re that shines in the night. Who knows reckoning. Who knows the balance. Who gives length of life to him. Who is in his favor. Who puts things in their due place. Who gave words and script. Who gives glory to all the gods. The ibis splendid in magic. The venerable ibis. Delighting in he, the shining one. Dweller in the boat of millions of years. He that is on the balance. Reckoner of gifts. Reckoner of time. Reckoner of time for gods and men. Reckoner of years. Who reckons all things. Pleased with Matt. Bearer of the Horus I. Thoth. He that is under his tree who protects the two lands. He that came into being at the beginning. Who leads the throne of the Ened. Who protects Set. He that is on his stairs. Great Amdu At. Lord of the Amulet. President of the House of Books. He that presides over the land of Egypt. Son of Re. Scribe strong of arm. Most excellent scribe. Scribe of Malkeru the word. Scribe of Malkeru for the great Ened. Scribe of Malkeru for the Lord of Eternity. Counts free. The knowing one. Who makes great. Him that is skilled in his employment. Who glorifies Osiris with the glorifications of his formulae. Who glorifies the two eyes. Who makes great mart in Egypt. Who increases time and multiplies years. Who makes Osiris triumphant against his foes. Who makes splendid his creator. Eldest child of Re. Establishes laws. A second Re. I who announces the morning. Who gives peace to the two lands. Who soothes the heart of the gods with his words. Commander the gods. Whose name is mentioned in there. Birth house. I who inscribes the royal rule of the lord of the two lands. I who records all that exists on earth. I who overthrows the foes. I who first fashioned signs and wrote magic. I who overthrows the enemy in every land. I who reconciles the splendid one with his eye. I who appeases the gods. I who reconciles the brother gods. I who advances positions. I who illumines the duat in the necropolis. Guard of heaven, earth and nether world. The time determiner. Who distinguishes the tongue. The great thoth. The great su eldest child of Re. I who drives away the evil that is in his neighborhood. Skilled in knowledge. Acute. Who fashioned all things beautiful who created purification bull of heaven who beholdeth what cometh afterwards whose words established the two lands he of the palate the ibis the venerable ibis that chases away the foe's eye the unique minister of Horus who determines fate who gives air to the breath who gives breath to the weary of heart who gives breath to the nostrils of every man who gives laws who gives office to whomsoever he loves Writes the Aned with his own hand who drives away the voice of anger. Lord of the West. Who lives on the good. Wanderer traveler. Representative of Ra representative of Atom ancient and great one for the Aned who comes to him that calls him the moon shining in the heavens heart of Ra who giveth life to men according to whose word the Aned acts who accomplishes truth who does what Ra praises in his chapel who does good who makes slaughter among the foes of the eye splendid in speech the silver sun the great one in Hermopolis the twice great the thrice great. The ape the great and venerable ape who equipped the eye for its owner astute in his plans the messenger who distinguishes seasons, 
months and years eloquent judge eloquent judge pleased with Matt who distinguishes bodies of different countries path opener of Rav the God presiding over the temple the great one great in divine speech prudent who ends the strife mighty in his words orderer of fate judge of Matt the unapproachable great God Ra that shines in the night pleased with Matt bearer of the I scribe of accounts for our Harak letter writer of the Aned who appeases the net Jeria who appeases the mistress of men with script guide of heaven earth and dew at the guide who distinguishes the tongue of every foreign land who proclaims laws skilled in knowledge the mysterious moon of beautiful risings who purifies the aned with his hands who makes strife to cease in the eastern sky who drives away the voice of anger bull among the stars he that is on his stairs scribe of the divine book fierce of face lord of everlastingness who leads the throne of the Aned. Dweller in the library. The shining one. The filler of hearts. The gracious one who can avert this evil. He who gives breath to the weary hearted and vindicates him against his enemies. Behold Jehati, how he shines forth in his crown which the two lords in Hermopolis have set in place for him, in order that he may execute the governance of mankind. Exalt in the hall of Jeb over what he has done. Adore him, extol him, give him praise. He is the Lord of kindliness, the leader of the entire multitude. Jehati, O noble Ibis, O dispatcher writer of the great nine who punishes crime, who accepts the submissive, who is sound of arm, wise among the Aned, who relates what was forgotten. Moon God Thoth who made different the tongue of one country from another. Son of Ra, moon of beautiful risings, lord of appearings, light of the net Jeru Jehati who knows the secrets, who records their expression, who distinguishes one speech from another, who is judge over everyone. Keen-faced in the boat of millions of years, courier of mankind, who knows a man by his utterance, who makes the deed rise up against the doer, who contents Ra, advises the soul lord, lets him know whatever happens, at dawn he summons in heaven, and forgets not yesterdays. Without his knowledge nothing can be done. I, Thoth, am the eminent writer, pure of hands, the writer of Matt whose horror is the lie, the lord of laws, I am the lord of Matt, I teach Matt to the net Jeru. I test each word for its veracity, I am the leader of the sky, the earth and the duat. I, Thoth, am the protector of the weak and of him whose property is violated. True of voice. It is closed to him with words to say, it is open to him who is silent. The silent one comes and finds the well. The passionate one comes and you are hidden from him. I, King of the Gods the unapproachable great God the God for whom longs Anastasi. The ancient horns is Horus the God of Heaven. The God whose two eyes are the sun and moon, the left eye. The moon. He on whose forehead are the two eyes. The two aspects of Horus dot as God of Light, and as Warrior God, or God of Battles. Where the eye of Horus is born on the wing of Set and the eye of Horus which is on the forehead. Of Set. Horus is carried on the wings of Thoth on the east side of the divine ladder. The angry eye which became the serpent on the diadem of the sun god. Moon eye that vanished and was found again. The eye is spoken of as having fled over a lake which is located in the eastern side of the heavens. On the shore of this lake. I have found the eye, and I to have brought it back to Horus, bearing it across the lake on his ibis wings. I thoth had to make a long search for the eye before I found it the eye came of itself to the moon god seeking his protection. When the moon reappears after its waning or vanishing. It shows the traces of violent hostile attack. It is only at full moon that it appears again with full splendor on the face of heaven. It is then healthy perfect and it is Thoth who has made it sound and whole and it is he, also, who has restored it to its owner Horus he who makes whole the I I am Thoth who wanders at the two seasons seeking the I I his lord come I have found the I I have handed it over to its lord. I am Thoth who acquitted, justified the voiceless ones, 
who protected the weak ones, and stood forth in defense of the belongings I have banished the darkness and removed the veil of clouds, the earth shadow. I am the judge or arbitrator of the two great gods one who judges the two brothers and separates the two contending gods. When heaven and earth are mingled in one common darkness the moon god, I thoth, come, and separates them by my light which distinguishes things from each other. The one who restrains or brings to a close the conflict tell have made them struggle to cease I have caused their complaint to cease the rivals finally brought to a close in thoth's gnome. He who has given words and script, who makes the temples to prosper, who founds shrines, and makes the gods to know what is needful. He knows what is in the heart. Thou art Thoth. Who lovest Ma'et. Thou lookest into hearts. Thoth is described as the knowing one who doth search out the hidden things of the body, and as he that looketh through bodies, and testeth hearts, who knows what is in hearts, who estimates bodies, and knows what is in them. The god sire who is in men's hearts, his eyes examine the hearts of all. The expert one. Mind and knowledge, he speaks thus behold his majesty knew all that had happened there was nothing that he did not know he was Thoth in all things there was no word that he did not accomplish. Thoth, the scribe of the gods. Possessor of all knowledge, both heavenly and earthly, divine and human lord and maker of books the skilled scribe he the clerk of the gods kept the registers wherein the deeds of men were written down. Find out the truth at all times, chief judge of the dead. Thoth in the great trial that took place in heaven when Osiris was accused of certain crimes by his twin brother Set, the god of evil. Thoth examined the evidence, and proved to the gods that the charges made by Set were untrue, and that Osiris had spoken the truth and that Set was a liar. On the day of the great judgment Thoth might preside over the weighing of your heart in the balance. Silence msek equals 400, in the hall of the great judgment he is seen holding in one hand a reed with which he is writing on a pallet the result of the weighing of the heart of the dead man in the balance. The gods accepted the report of Thoth without question, and Thoth, the scribe of the gods, rewarded the good soul and punished the bad according to his statement. From the beginning to the end of the history Thoth righteous judge, and framer of the laws by which heaven and earth, and men and gods were governed, remained unchanged. The scribes who studied and copied these books are specially honored, for it is that, the spirit of Thoth, the twice great and thrice great God, dwells within. Is it true that thou knowest the numbers of the apet chambers? Of the shrine of Thoth no I do not know their number but I do know the place where they are to be found. There is a box made of flint in a house called Sapti in Hehopolis. Secured for him the use of the magical boat, and the services of the celestial ferryman, who would ferry him across the river in the Tuat to the island of fire, in which Osiris lived. I am Thoth, the perfect scribe, whose hands are pure. I am the lord of purity the destroyer of evil, the scribe of truth, what I abominate is sin. Thoth, the most mighty God, the Lord of Khmenu Hermopolis, cometh to thee, and he writeth the book of breathings with his own fingers. Then doth thy soul breathe for ever and ever, and thy form is renewed with life upon earth, thou art made divine with the souls of the gods, thy heart is the heart of Ra, and thy limbs are the limbs of the great God. Amen is nigh unto thee to make thee to live again. O Penneth a prosperous road for thee. Thou seest with thine eyes, thou hearest with thine ears, thou speakest with thy mouth, thou walkest with thy legs. Thy soul hath been made divine in the duat, so that it may change itself into any form it pleaseth. Thou wakest each day and seest the light of Ra. Thou appearest upon the earth each day and the book of breathings O Thoth is thy protection, for through it dost thou draw thy breath each day, and through it do thine eyes behold the beams of the sun god Aten. I am the creator of what hath come into being. I myself came into being under the form of the god Kepera. I came into being under the form of primeval time, I formed myself out of the primeval matter, 
I made myself out of the substance that was in primeval time. Nothing existed at that time except the great primeval watery mass called new, but in this there were the germs of everything that came into being subsequently, there was no heaven, and no earth, and the eye found no place on which to stand, nothing, in fact, existed except the thoth. I was alone. He first created himself by uttering his own name as a word of power, and when this was uttered his visible form appeared. He then uttered another kind of word of power, and as a result of this his soul came into being, and it worked in connection with his heart or mind. Before every act of creation thought out what form the thing to be created was to take, and when he had uttered its name the thing itself appeared in heaven or earth. To fill the heaven, or place where he lived, the god next produced from his body and its shadow the two gods Shu and Tefnut. These with Nebuchadnezzar, or Kepera, formed the first triad of gods, and the one god became three, the one god had three aspects, each of which was quite distinct from the other. The next act of creation resulted in the emerging of the eye of Ra from the watery mass new, and light shone upon its waters. The eye became obscured, and it ceased to give light. This period of darkness is, of course, the night, and to obviate the inconvenience caused by this recurring period of darkness, the god made a second eye, the moon, and set it in the heavens. The greater eye ruled the day, and the lesser eye the night. Thou art the lord of millions of years, the sustainer of wild creatures, and the lord of cattle, every created thing hath its existence from thee. What is in the earth is thine. What is in the heavens is thine. What is in the waters is thine. Thou art the Lord of truth, the hater of sinners, whom thou overthrowest in their sins. The goddesses of truth are with thee, they never leave thee. No sinful man can approach thee in the place where thou art. Whatsoever appertaineth to life and to death belongeth to thee, and to thee belongeth everything that concerneth man. Prepare a series of spells and words of power, which would enable those who knew them to overcome snakes and serpents and deadly reptiles of all kinds. Thoth did so, and the spells which he wrote under the direction of Ra served as a protection of the servants of Ra ever after. Before finally relinquishing his active rule on earth, Ra summoned Thoth and told him of his desire to create a light soul in the Tuat and in the land of the caves. Over this region he appointed Thoth to rule, and he ordered him to keep a register of those who were there, and to mete out just punishments to them. In fact, Thoth was to be ever after the representative of Ra in the other world. Ra, the self-created god, creator of heaven, earth, breath of life, fire, gods, men, beasts, cattle, reptiles, feathered fowl, and fish, the king of gods and men to whom cycles of one hundred and twenty years are as years, whose manifold names are unknown even by the gods. Tell me thy name, for he who can utter his own name liveth. Ra replied, I am the maker of heaven and earth. I knit together the mountains and whatsoever liveth on them. I made the waters. I made Meteorit to come into being. I made Kamutef. I made heaven and the two hidden gods of the horizon, and put souls into the gods. I open my eyes, and there is light, I shut my eyes, and there is darkness. I speak the words, and the waters of the Nile appear. I am he whom the gods know not. I make the hours. I create the days, I open the year. I make the river Nile. I create the living fire whereby works in the foundries and workshops are carried out. I am Kepera in the morning, right noon, and Temu in the evening. Thoth saw these he said, Let your hearts rejoice, O gods of heaven. Let your hearts rejoice, O ye gods who dwell on the earth. The young Horus cometh in peace. On his way he hath made manifest deeds of valour. Thoth. I was purified by the sprinkling of holy water, and I passed through the places that were prohibited to ordinary folk, 
Then I found the god Knemu standing in front of me, and I propitiated him with the offerings that I made unto him, and I made prayer and supplication before him. Then he opened his eyes, and his heart inclined to me, and in a majestic manner he said unto me I am Knemu who fashioned thee. My two hands grasped thee and knitted together thy body, I made thy members sound, and I gave thee thy heart. Yet the stones have been lying under the ground for ages, and no man hath worked them in order to build a god house, to repair the sacred buildings which are in ruins, or to make shrines for the gods of the south and north, or to do what he ought to do for his lord, even though I am the lord the creator. I am new, the self-created, the great god, who came into being in the beginning. I am Heb the Nile god who riseth at will to give health to him that worketh for me. I am the governor and guide of all men, in all their periods, the most great, the father of the gods, Shu, the great one, the chief of the earth. The two halves of heaven are my abode. The Nile is poured out in a stream by me, and it goeth round about the tilled lands, and its embrace produceth life for every one that breatheth, according to the extent of its embrace. I will make the Nile to rise for thee, and in no year shall it fail and it shall spread its water out and cover every land satisfactorily. Plants, herbs, and trees shall bend beneath the weight of their produce. The goddess Renit shall be at the head of everything, and every product shall increase a hundred thousandfold, according to the cubit of the year. The people shall be filled, verily to their heart's desire, yea, everyone. Want shall cease and the emptiness of the granaries shall come to an end. The land of Egypt shall be one cultivated land, the districts shall the number of the cubits which the waters of the Nile shall rise. Thoth, the great God, the Prince of Truth in heaven and on earth, said unto me, Come, O God, decisis hearken thou, it is a good thing to hearken, for he who is guided by another liveth. Hide thyself with thy child, and these things shall happen unto him. His body shall grow and flourish, and strength of every kind shall be in him. He shall sit upon his father's throne, he shall avenge him, and he shall hold the exalted position of governor of the two lands. Isis cried out, and made supplication to the boat of millions of years, and the sun god stopped the boat. Out of it came down Thoth, who was provided with powerful spells, and, going to Isis, he inquired concerning her trouble. What is it, what is it, O Isis, thou goddess of spells, whose mouth hath skill to utter them with supreme effect? Surely no evil thing hath befallen Horus, for the boat of Ra hath him under its protection. I have come from the boat of the disc to heal Horus. Then Thoth told Isis not to fear, but to put away all anxiety from her heart, for he had come to heal her child, and he told her that Horus was fully protected because he was the dweller in his disc, and the firstborn son of heaven, and the great dwarf, and the mighty ram, and the great hawk, and their holy beetle, and the hidden body, and the governor of their other world, and the holy benew bird, and by the spells of Isis and the names of Osiris and the weeping of his mother, and brethren, and by his own name and heart. Turning towards the child Thoth began to recite his spells and said, Wake up, Horus! Thy protection is established. Make thou happy the heart of thy mother Isis. The words of Horus bind up hearts and he comforteth him that is in affliction. Let your hearts rejoice, O ye dwellers in the heavens. Horus who avenged his father shall make the poison to retreat. That which is in the mouth of Ra shall circulate. And the tongue of the great God shall overcome opposition. The boat of Ra standeth still and moveth not, and the disc. The sun God is in the place where it was yesterday to heal Horus for his mother Isis. Come to earth, draw nigh. O boat of Ra, O ye mariners of Ra, make the boat to move. And convey food of the town, 
hither. To heal Horus for his mother Isis, come to earth, O oh. poison. I am Thoth, the firstborn son, the son of Ra. Tem. And the company of the gods have commanded me to heal. Horus for his mother Isis. Horus, Horus, thy cap protecteth thee, and thy image worketh protection for thee. The poison is as the daughter of its own flame, it is destroyed because it smote the strong sun. Your temples. Axe safe, for Horus liveth for his mother. Then the child. Horus returned to life, to the great joy of his mother, and. Thoth went back to the boat of millions of years, which at. Once proceeded on its majestic course, and all the gods from. One end of heaven to the other rejoiced. Thoth the ever-living, who hast performed for me all that my cow wished. Thou hast set up my sanctuary with work that shall endure. For ever, thou hast lengthened it and broadened it more than. Ever was done before. The great pylon, thou hast celebrated the festival of the beauties of Amen-Ra, thy monuments are greater than those of any king who hath existed. I commanded thee to do it. I am satisfied with it. I have established thee upon the throne of Horus for hundreds of thousands of years. Thou shalt guide life. Behold, I have set an at the other world like my father are. I am among the great companies of the gods of heaven, earth, and the Tuat. Amen Ra hath established my son upon my throne. He hath received my rank in peace, as governor of the two lands, and he is sitting upon there. Throne of Horus as lord of the two Nile banks. He hath put on himself the eight f crown like Tar Tennessee, use a matra. Set up in our men, life, strength, health be to him, the eldest. Born son of Ra, the self begotten. Mount Merry our men, life strength, health be to him, there. Divine child, the son of our men, who came forth from his body. Rising as the lord of the two lands, like Tar Tennessee, he is. Like a real son, favored for his father's sake. Tie ye yourselves to his sandals. Smell the earth before him. Do homage to him. Follow him at every moment. Praise him. Worship him. Magnify his beneficent actions as ye do those of Ra every morning. Present ye before him your offerings in his great house which is holy. Carry ye to him the blessings. Be strong to fulfill his words and the decrees that are uttered among you. Follow his utterances, and ye shall be safe under his souls. Work all together for him in every work. The son of Ra the Lord of the crowns of the south and of the north, the ever-living, beloved of Ta, the scribe of the library of divine books, the priest of the Tuat chamber, the libationer of the gods of the wall, the superintendent of the priests of the gods and goddesses of the north and south, the two eyes of the king of upper Egypt, the two ears of the king of lower Egypt, the second of the king in raising up the Tet pillar, throne chamber of Keb, in the seat of Thoth, the repeater, you were born. Receive. So as to gladden your heart, for she is the food of your majesty Evmat in the same place is spoken of as the food which I thoths love. A god himself has the truth written on a steel, long hidden, now finally comes to light. The ride into the southern ocean, where on an island the holy written by God himself shall conserve, yes O man we meet again.